Hi, my name is Sean Beasley, and I'd like to introduce you into the OTRS Master Slave add-on. OTRS Group created a new add-on based on the old Master Slave function, and there's been some changes within it. And these changes, I wanted to do a short video to explain them to you. So we're looking at the OTRS 3.0, which is still using the old Master Slave function. When I create a ticket hit here, Then I have the option when I go down to the bottom to create a new master ticket. Now I'm going to create another ticket as a slave. And I would then be able, upon creating the um, slave ticket to add it as a slave of this ticket. It would be linked to the parent object. And when I close the ticket, or when I close the master ticket or take any other action on the ticket, these actions will be propagated to the slave tickets as well. So going back, you'll see that the ticket is now closed. And if I look at the child ticket, it will be closed as well. When going into the pack package manager repository under the admin section, you'll see here that there's uh, an OTRS master slave package. Now you can't just install this package uh, on top of the master slave package because it will throw errors. They're using some of the same uh, modules and due to the way the package manager works, um, it, because of the name here on the OTRS master slave being not being named master slave, then uh, you won't be able to upgrade it. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and uninstall the master slave. Then we can install OTRS master slave. Once we've reinstalled OTRS master, or once we've installed OTRS master slave, then we need to go into sysconfig to turn on the advanced options. We'll search here for master slave. And we'll discuss the new options here for just a moment. So we have to set advanced mass slave to enabled. Once we've done that, you'll be able to link your slave tickets to your masters. When we set this to enabled, you'll be able to actually turn off the master status for a ticket. Here we need to be able to uh, enable this so that we have the ability to update the state of the master ticket. And here this feature will allow us to change a master to a slave, which automatically takes all of the other slaves to the new master ticket. Here's a list of events that you can configure in order to update your slave tickets. So you can remove or add these as, as you see fit for each type of event that you want to have um, affect your slave tickets when you're changing master tickets. And this is the module that takes care of actually uh, preparing and uh, doing all of the modifications within the tickets. So turn on all those advanced features uh, and then click update. Now let's go back and we'll do the same procedure and see how things have changed. Here I'll also have then the ability to create a new master ticket. And when I'm going to create my slave ticket, you'll notice that there's 
now also the ability here to set it as a slave of that's the ticket we just created now if you're using earlier versions of the OTRS master slave uh, you should want to go ahead and upgrade because this feature wasn't originally uh, available in the OTRS master slave you actually had to create the master ticket and then go into the master slave mask to uh, make a slave of this has been added in the most recent release so I'm going to hit, go ahead and click, click create and I'll see here uh, not just slave anymore but I'll actually see that it's a slave of this ticket number it's also linked here as well and I have a new menu point here a uh, new menu item here master slave when I go into this after turning on all my advanced features I'll be able to add an, a note as to what I'm doing with the master slave I'll be able to um, since I'm in the mas master uh, slave ticket I'll be able to unset the slave function or I'll be able to automatically create a new master ticket out of this so there's uh, a lot of n new features here that you can make use of in order to uh, better manage your master slave tickets and additionally there's also been changes to the bulk action so if I were to go here into my queue view then I can take here uh, let's put both of these in the same queue so that it's easier to to test I'll move that one into MISC and then I've got two in MISC once I have both of my tickets in MISC I can go into bulk and I can set these as slaves of this master ticket uh, or I can create a new master ticket out of these two tickets now I'm not sure why unset master and unset slave tickets are here because neither of these tickets are master or slave maybe it's a bug um, we'll have to just create a bug report about it I'm going to go ahead and set these as slave of test master then I can go in to one of the tickets and see that it's a slave of this ticket I can go into this ticket and see that it's a slave of this ticket as well as you can see there's been some changes within the features and functionality of this package and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I just wanted to show you the differences between OTS master slave and the old master slave function keep tuned in thanks and have a nice day